Don't put that on yet, Red. Mess up my collar? Steve, why, I thought you'd left hours ago. Well, Malcolm got lucky, and I thought maybe some of it might rub off on me. Steve, please. Oh, don't mind us. This is making it the hard way, but where were we? We're on in a minute. Steve, I'll lose my job. You just quit. We're going to Hollywood. No, no, it wouldn't be any good. Look, Malcolm and I got it all figured out. With the money he won, we can get into some kind of a racket, a business. Real nine to five, uh, five days a week kind of business, hmm? No horses, Honey, no... Honey, we won't even buy our first monster a hobby horse. We'll make book on that. Now you go ahead and get yourself ready, and I'll find our best man. Guy says, I didn't even figure I was in the same town. Had a magazine, thought I'd wait around, and he sees that there wasn't even a chance to catch the bus. Ah! <laughs> Let's have some more champagne and caviar. Waiter? Let's have some more champagne and caviar. Waiter? While you're at it, how about bringing us some more champagne and more caviar? Waiter, will you stop jumping around and please stand still so I can give you my order? We'd like to have some more champagne. And more caviar. Don't be ridiculous. I've ordered enough caviar. How much do you think I can afford? Just get some champagne. Thank you. Waiter? You're welcome. <laughs> well, bottoms up. Excuse me, I forgot there were ladies present. <laughs> All right, easy, Sammy. You're wrinkling my cummer button. I'll wrinkle your brains. The boss hears you're loaded. His battery's out of order. Yeah? Uh -huh. You and your partner heard your picture on TV. From two bits to a fortune, I said. Well, it was my partner's loot. He won it. So you'd borrow it from him. Now, your battery's out of order. So I borrow from him. Sammy, leave the kid alone. I didn't fly up here for nothing, chum. Maybe I can make it worth your while. Let's go back to Las Vegas, Steve. Please, I gotta see Anita again. Oh, I... Malcolm, why don't you forget about Anita? You're just another fan to her. Not after the present I sent her. Please, Steve, turn around. Relax, boy. A lot of fans send presents. Yeah, with real diamonds in it. Real diamonds? It better be real diamonds. I spent all the money I won on it. You spent all your winnings on a present? Yeah. For a beautiful necklace to go around her beautiful necklace. Before my hands go around your beautiful neck, how much money have we got left? Oh, don't worry, Steve. I still got your quarter. Here it is. Uh. What I do bad? What was it bad? What I what I do with bad? Honest, I didn't want to sell my half of the car, really. It's become part of me. Can't you think of something else? I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking of double homicide. One for each of your heads. Look, will you just listen for a second? This is the first car I ever owned. Really, it's the first thing I ever owned that didn't eat Poochie Pup dog food. Look, why don't you be brave, boy? You know, fly right through it. You know, like Jimmy Stewart in 30 seconds over Tokyo. No, that was Strategic Air Command. Oh, that was I'm a paramount sorry. picture. That's yeah. all right. But I don't want to fly. I just want to rollio rollio on my new car. I love it so much, I even made up a poem about it. Would you like to hear it? My new car. Oh, how it ran. 
It's as red as a beautiful slice of ham, as shiny and bright as a frying pan. It shouldn't belong to no stupid Sam, my new car. Oh, I... You know, I never thought I'd live to say this, but I like that Poochie Pup poem much better. Yeah, I like that one, oh, too. Would you like to hear it again? I could sing it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, uh, perfect condition. <laughs> Uh, you're right, boy. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. <laughs> uh, you read my sign. You know how stupid I am. Yeah, know. yeah, I know that. <laughs> uh, I'll give you 1500 1500 1500 $1,500? $1, $1, Let's go around again. <laughs> oh, come on. Now, look, this car's only a week old. I think we should at least get 4000 Oh, uh, cars depreciate fast that first week, boy. <laughs> Not that <laughs> fast, boy. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure glad you didn't sell, Steve. We'd be more stupid than stupid if we were ever stupid enough to sell to stupid. Oh, inside, stupid. Uh, <laughs> no gas? Uh, you really are low on cash. <laughs> <laughs> As your half, Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As your forty, Terry. I'll get your cab. Taxi. Taxi. Where are you going, Terry? I didn't know I was going anywhere. Uh, as Malcolm said, just where am I going? You said you had an audition in Hollywood? This is Hollywood. Oh. And what was Vegas? An audition, too? That's about it. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't make good, Mr. Wiley. Goodbye. <laughs> Here's a deposit. I'd like you to hold the car for a few days. I'm gonna get lucky and buy it back. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you better get awful lucky. <laughs> this is a very nice business you have here. <laughs> hey, Steve, where'd Terry go? Never mind where Terry went. Here. Here's the rest of your money. My money? You already gave me my half. This is your half. No, it's all yours. The whole car is yours. It always was. I just got in on a deal with a phony ticket. A phony ticket? Yeah, a phony ticket. I had it printed up myself. You mean in the theater with the... Oh, well, what's the difference, Steve? We're friends now. What's the difference how we met? Friends? I tried to steal your car. I'd have gotten away with it if it wasn't for that hound of yours. Yeah, yeah I understand that, Steve, but... Remember, I'd have never known about the phony ticket order stealing if you didn't tell me. Which means that you're very noble. You're as noble as Abraham Lincoln or Raymond Massey. Malcolm, this may come as a shock to you, but Anita Eckbert isn't even my neighbor. Oh, I know it. You know that? Oh, yeah, I know that, too, from reading the movie magazine. So, you see, you weren't lying. You were just pretending, Steve. Pretend? I was lying, Malcolm. Look, I'm in trouble. And anybody with me is in trouble. I owe a bookie big money, and this is a big bookie. Yeah, well, that's all right, Steve, because, well, let's see, uh, I can get you some money, I can get the lucky feeling again. Where are we going to find the crap tables? Under the orange trees? Wait a minute. You think you can get that lucky feeling again? I know I can. Hollywood Park, here we come. Taxi! Yeah, but I can't go to the races dressed in these clothes. Sorry, we'll change the cab. Then we'll check our luggage. <laughs> 